Hey there, I am back with another interesting problem. This problem is called online stock span. This problem was asked multiple times in Amazon, Goldman Sachs interviews. So this is a very famous problem. So in this problem, you will be given an array. So you need to tell how many consecutive days this stock remained uh, greater than or equals to the previous values. So for an example, let's take 85. So 85 has remained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 days. For 6 days, it was greater than equals to. So the output over here is 6. So that was the problem. So let's try to solve this problem. So here you will have to design a data structure and tell what is the span of this current price. So for, for this current price, somehow you need to memorize the previous stock values. So what data structures you can use here efficiently. So you can simply use a stack. So let me just tell you the idea to solve this problem. I'm going to be using a stack data structure, which will be an array of integers. And this stack will hold the first index will hold the price of the current stock and how many days it it has remained uh, greater than or equals to the previous stock values. So if we somehow know the previous value and check if the current stock price is greater than greater than or equals to the top of the stack, then we can po keep popping elements which are greater and add their span values. So in this way, we will be able to solve this problem efficiently. So let's try to see what we can do here. So initially I need to allocate memory for the stack. So it will be a stack. Now let's start with the span one. So initially, whatever be the value, it will definitely gonna remain for one days. So now what I will have to do, I will have to keep checking the stack elements. First condition is if not stack dot empty. If stack is empty, then there is no point of checking. And I need to check if uh, stack dot peak and the uh, and the value at the peak, uh, so which is in the first index, which will be in the first index, is is less than equals to the current price. So uh, what I'm checking is if current price is greater than or equals to the previous values in the stars in the stack then i will keep popping elements from the stack and add their span value to the current span value so that makes sense because we want to span the current stock so if that's the case then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add that value to the span uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding that value to the span so let's say it will be s s dot pop and what we need to add over here is the price uh, sorry the span value so span value will be present at the zero with index so zero now once it's done uh, we can we, we are ready to add uh, we should add the value of the span and the current price so it will be a new integer array which contains price and its span so in this way, we will be able to memorize the required data. So we can simply return the value of the span and that's it. Uh, let's try to submit this, run this code and submit this code. Okay. What's the error over here? Extra parenthesis. Okay. Okay, it should be price is at, at zero index and 
span is at the first index so this was my mistake let's run this code again all right okay so that was it it was a very simple problem and easy implementation if you like this video uh, please like share comment and subscribe thank you very much